Now for this question, what I've done is a sketch of what we're given. Basically, we've got this cylindrical water tank and we're told that it's got a diameter of six meters. And water is flowing into this tank at a constant rate of 0.48 pi cubic meters per minute. And at time t minutes, the depth of the water is h meters. And we've got a tap here at t and it's at the bottom of the tank and when the tap is open water we're told leaves at a rate of 0.6 pi h cubic meters per minute and what we've got to do is show that t minutes after the tap's been open that this differential equation holds 75 times dh by dt equals 4 minus 5h so how do we do something like this? Well, this is a typical connected rates of change type problem. And if you're unsure of these, you can always go on my website and have a look at some of the tutorials on these. But essentially, what are we given? What, what kind of rates of change have we got going on here? Well, we've got a rate of change of volume. We've got water coming in and at the same time going out. And we represent that rate of change as dv by dt, the rate of change of volume with respect to time. So what we've got, first of all, is that dv by dt equals, well, we've got the water coming in, so we've got a volume per minute of 0.48 pi cubic meters per minute coming in. But then we've got this leaving. So we need to subtract 0.6 pi h. So this is the rate of change of volume in cubic meters per minute. Now, if I'm to try and head towards this rate of change, the rate of change of height with respect to time, then I need to think of connecting some rates of change. So we've got that the rate of change of the height with respect to time is equal to, now we always use the chain rule when we're connecting rates of change. This is the same as dh by d something times the same d something by dt. As long as we put the same d somethings here, it's as if, as if they cancel, leaving us with dh over dt, the chain rule then. So what is this d something going to be? Well, it clearly has to be the only other variable that we seem to be using in this problem, which is v. So if we put dv in here and dv there, we've connected two rates of change. Now, we already know the rate of change of volume. It's this, okay, in general. But we need to work out what dh by dv is, the rate of change of the height with respect to volume. Now the easiest way we can go about this is by looking at what the volume is in general for the amount of water after t minutes. And that would be the volume of this blue cylinder, if you like. And being a cylinder, that volume is going to be equal to the area of the cross section, the area of a circle, which will be pi r squared, pi times the radius squared, the radius will be 3, so that would be 3 squared. So that's the area of the cross section. And then we multiply it by the height. Okay? The volume essentially of a prism, area of the cross section times the length. We can clean this up. It's clearly equal to 9 pi h. Now, when it comes to working out what dh dv is, we can find out what dv by dh is, first of all and then use the reciprocal of it, okay? So dv dh, if we differentiate this with respect to h, is just going to give us 9 pi. So it follows from here that dh by, let's just put that in, dh by dv will be the reciprocal of that, 1 over 9 pi. So when I put in these two uh, rates of change into this equation here. For dh by dv then we've got 1 over 9 pi 
and we multiply this by dv by dt. So we just put that in brackets as 0.48 pi minus 0.6 pi h. Now, if we pull out, say, 0.12 pi, because I can see that both of these, or 0.12 would be a common factor actually, and uh, so would pi. So if we were to pull out 0.12 pi, and that would be over 9 pi, then in here, what am I going to have? Well, it's going to be a 4. And 0.12 times 4 then is 0.48. And 0.12 times 5 would give me 0.6. So that's going to be minus 5h. Now I knew it was going to be 0.12 because I was working on the assumption that I was correct at this stage. So if I was to get, say, a 4 here, I just had to look at what was 0.48 when I divided it by 4 and clearly it was 0.12. So that gave me an idea of taking 0.12 out as a common factor. OK, well, the pi's cancel now. OK. And surprise, surprise, say, when I divide 0.12 into 9, I get 75. So if you do that, you get 75 there. And can you see that if I now multiply both sides by 75, I end up with therefore 75 times dh by dt equals the 4 minus 5h. So that is what we had to show. OK, so hope that's given you some idea then how to go about this particular problem. Typical kind of question on connected rates of change.